Welcome, are you born? Advertising. Right? Other matruka when advertising. So this lesson is a very short lesson, right? The girl lesson ne kak ne vei, but IELTS is speaking walata enna topic ke kak saha enna puluang topic ke kak mangke ane siri si yak me noai kela habe avaham lot of children struggle. Okay, that's why I'm doing this lesson. Now I want you to watch these three videos, right? The links will be below the video as well. So click on it and watch the three videos. And then answer these questions. What can you see in this ad? Try to avoid students answering question two at this stage, right? So don't answer this question. After you finish one, move on into two, three, four, five, six, okay? What can you see in this ad? What is the ad for? How do you know that this is for, you know, Pepsi Cola or, you know, Sprite or Fanta or chocolates and whatever, right? Is it easy to tell? Is the ad effective? How is it effective? Does it make you want to buy this product or service? Right? Thing ad dekak dak kahama pita, advertisement dekak dak kahama. We should know, ah, me kavila, cream soda, ya wane pupi and chamakare. Okay? So, you know, I'm not promoting either one, guys, but I'm talking about advertising, right? So, you should know. And then, sunlight. So we know that that is the jingle, right? So you have slogans, you have jingles, right? You think, right? Then, effective, right? Then, Lux and Rani ads. Sabang thamai dekama, right? Kaav the use karane, kohede ad dek market karane, mona target group packet other. So those things are important. So I want you to watch this and think for yourself. Okay? Poddak nika topic ek karane kari mang hamati ugro chutta ke ka balala enjoy kala chutta khitan out of the box. Right? Express yourself during the break. Do you remember any advertisements you saw when you were younger? Of course I remember and the one that I remember the most was obviously the Panadol ad and then sunlight. Okay. Do advertisements influence your decision or choice of product? I think sometimes it does uh, because if we see it, we remember it and we see that it's a good product. Sometimes we go and we try it out and if it's good, we um, keep on buying that product. So we repeat the purchase. Have you ever bought something after seeing an advertisement? Yes. So I've bought saris, I've bought makeup, all after seeing advertisements. Do you like it when celebrities advertise products? Um, yes but only if the celebrities really mean what they say. So I know one of these um, cricket players, an Indian cricket player, um, you know, he was asked to promote a certain product and he said, no, I'm sorry, I don't use the product and I, if I'm not using it, I can't tell the people to use it, okay? So I think if celebrities are that honest and then they actually come up and say, oh, this is a good product, I would really like it, but if you're just paid to do something, then that's really not something you should be doing. That's just what I believe, right? Describe an advertisement you saw recently. It can be for a product or service. I think advertisement It can be for a product or it can be for a service. Do you think advertising will change in future? How is advertising different now compared to the past? I think advertising will change rapidly because now it's more of like, you know, making sure that you have more sales and more profit. 
some companies still trying to maintain ethical um, advertising but then some companies really don't do that now and I see that that is becoming quite of a trend now so when I compare the two past and now I think the ethical component is what is lacking the most and the reliability then is questionable so I think that is what is different from then to now aha uh -huh. some people think it is unethical to advertise to children do you agree I agree because children really cannot make a choice because they don't really understand all the facts about it so I think it is unethical to advertise to children I don't know how you think but this is just how I feel right um, so the seventh question are there plenty of advertisements in your country yes I think there's a lot of advertisements in Sri Lanka especially for whitening creams right what are the different places where we often see advertisements you see advertisements on television you see it on newspapers magazines and then sometimes you hear advertisements on radio on the radio right what are the different types of advertising um, what is the best way to advertise according to you um, so you've got direct marketing you've got indirect marketing types of advertising um, so you have pictures you have verbal advertising right you just have slogans you have jingles um, what I think is pictures and words actually carry an advertisement a long way so I think that's really suitable but it depends on the product or the service that you're using as well how do you feel about advertisements I think sometimes advertising is important but then for some products I think it's really useless like you know you're trying to advertise about bread wouldn't really make a difference but you kind of advertising about a Rolex watch or maybe um, buying a Ducati bike you know things like that might have a significant impact depends what kind of advertisement do you like or prefer the most which ones do you dislike so I like any advertisement that gives out something really important to the audience or maybe the key features of the product or service what I dislike the most is you know just having useless advertisements and some advertisements you really can't even understand what the message was so those kind of advertisements I really dislike what's the most shocking advertisement you have seen well I really haven't seen shocking ones but I do remember a very shocking advertisement about a certain um, healthcare product um, so I was a bit taken back but I don't want to quote brand names so I would just say if you were to answer this question at the exam you can bring out brand names and talk about the advertisement that you really saw okay practice question three effective advertising sell these unusual items hat with tissue on it right so make unusual product ticket try to sell it useless in normal times but awesome when you're ill flu or runny nose is not a problem anymore blocks the sunlight they may laugh at you but it's useful in the end so a nice way to market this okay then again the next one golden toilet bowl best toilet bowl in the world 24 karat solid gold material easy to clean and hygienic awesome for noble butts you can sell it anytime it never loses its value thousand five hundred dollars you should actually try one of this right the next one discuss about these topics very important you could think about a writing activity as well from these cards but think about bringing out your opinion and working on your answer 
You want to sell a new type of mobile phone, you have decided to advertise on TV, decide when you want your ad to broadcast so it can be seen by the maximum number of people, okay? So important for you for your writing task one, um, if you're doing general, I get yes. You want a new flatmate, you must decide how to advertise so it will be seen by the type of person you want to live with, right? So I'll just have a look at these two first. So the first one is you want a new type of mobile phone and you have decided to advertise it on TV, right? So thamanga othi na alut phone ka keka sell karan no ne ka advertise karan yana TV eke. I think you have to decide on the ad to be broadcast and I think the best time to broadcast is in the night, right? And it should not be very long. It should be very short, but very precise, okay? So you want a new flatmate. You must decide how to advertise. I think definitely you should advertise on a website or newspaper. You want to sell your house, but not using an estate agent. It is only a small house, so the buyer will probably be from the local area. So you advertise on your local um, notice board, right? Or word of mouth, pass the message through your friends and advertise it. You have just opened a new local flower shop. You don't have a big budget, so you need to think carefully about how and where to advertise. You need to decide how and where to advertise. I think it would be nice to advertise locally to get the customers coming in. So handouts, right? And, you know, just shouting out, oh, hello, we've started a new flower shop. Come on, you know, come and see us, visit us. That would be nice, okay? Word of mouth again. If you want, maybe like a Facebook post. You have invented a new kind of cooker and you want to market this. You have plenty of money, so you can use a different media to advertise. Probably television is the best one, right? And then um, the radio, because people listen and watch the most television and radio. You want to advertise your company. It is not a new company, but you lost money last month and you want new customers. You make plastic bottles for fizzy drinks. Decide who the customers are and how to attract them, right? Um, so basically, you would want to attract water companies that distribute water or companies um, that make fizzy drinks. So water isn't a fizzy drink, but, you know, you could think about um, uh, sparkling water, right? But if not, you could definitely decide on the customers who are selling fizzy drinks and then talk to them and see if you could get in touch with them, right? And the way that you could attract them is through a presentation. So bringing out your key features about your product and talking about the selling price, price per unit, the cost and the added advantages that you would give maybe the grace period for payment and things like that. So definitely a presentation, talking verbally would help. This is a nice activity for you to do it for homework, right? So here we have a commercial break, right? Fill out the script and present an advertisement for a new product. So here is your script. Hello, today we're going to talk about a new product called Fuzz, okay? It is type of product that describe the product. You should buy this product because, give out the reasons why people should buy it. You think for you to do this, you need to fill out type of product, name, slogan, okay? Adjectives to describe the product, where you're going to sell it, price and picture, right? So think about it, do it, and if you have any nice ideas, 
please do put it up in the comment section so that we could have a look at it and I'd really love to see this. I used to do this um, new product kind of activity with my undergrads and it was just amazing okay. So I had mushroom cocktails and you know really nice new ideas coming up. Um, when you say cocktail mocktails, they were like really different ideas, right? So I would like to see some nice stuff coming out. I do this with some of my students, not with young learners, but with adult learners. So I thought I'll try it out with you as well. Okay. So it was a very short lesson, but a very interesting and useful one. You could stretch it for writing. You could use it for speaking, important, right? Um, and it's really important that you pay attention to these kind of topics, right? So with that, we come to the end of the 14th lesson, advertising. Mm -hmm.